Hey there, welcome to The Junk Drawer. My name is Enzo, and today we are talking about Disney Illy Forever Aladdin. Hey y'all. <laughs> um, I am still not feeling 100%. Um, you can probably tell in my appearance and how I sound, but uh, I'm still feeling a little, a little weird, a little iffy but I just got a Disney Illy doll. Uh, it's the Aladdin um, that just came out. And I also got a uh, fashion pack. This is the Beauty and the Beast fashion pack. So I wanted to make a video and I'm just gonna power through. So <laughs> please, please bear with me. So yeah, the uh, interesting thing about this particular doll is that this came out later than the original crew of Illy dolls. I know they're coming out with a second series soon, um, but this one I feel like is probably part of the first series because it has inset eyes. So I'm not sure why this one took so long to come out. Um, it's, it's just very strange to me, uh, the marketing of this. Also, um, the back of the box has the original crew and then like, like he's like superimposed on, onto the, the photo, which is kind of funny. So this is my first Illy doll. Um, so I'm excited to get in, get into it and, and see what these are all about. Um, here is a quick front of the box. I know it's hard to see with the glare, but and then the back of the box. So yeah, let me, um, uh, oh, let me also show you the fashion pack. This is the Beast fashion pack. Super glary, sorry. And it actually shows Aladdin wearing, wearing it in the back, on the back. Um, but yeah, let me open this up and we can take a closer look. Okay, he's out of the box. That was, that was a challenge. Um, okay, so I will go through the accessories first or the stuff that he comes with. He comes with a second shirt, which looks like it's a, um, like a, a scene from the movie. Uh, super cute, short sleeves. The material is like fine. It's not like the best material, but it's not awful. He also comes with this like fanny pack. Um, which is okay, I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. Uh, I don't really know, if, I don't know if I really like the color of it, but it's fine. He also comes with this uh, Mickey hat, which is which is pretty cute. I also, I don't think I mentioned what these dolls are. Um, if you don't know by now, these Disney Illy dolls are Disney bounding dolls. So people go to Disney parks and dress up uh, inspired, they dress up in outfits inspired by the fairy characters since they can't actually dress up as the characters. So this whole line of dolls is what this is. It's Disney bounding dolls. So in case you didn't know already. And then he comes with this uh, Mickey balloon, which is super cute. And there's a surprise treat inside. So I can get, um, it's basically a Disney treat from one of the parks. Uh, it's definitely a surprise element, so let me just open it up. Um, let's see, what is it? It's a Mickey waffle. How cute. All right, now to the doll himself. So what I'm gonna say, um, I'm not sure why they made him look like Aladdin, because uh, with all the other Illy dolls, they don't necessarily look like the characters that they're dressed up as, but for some reason they made the Aladdin one kind of look like him. So I'm not sure why they did that. I kind of wish they had like made him like, I don't know, given him a different haircut or made him like a blonde or a ginger or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird to kind of just like, that's why I think that this doll in particular uh, was kind of like an afterthought uh from the first wave i don't know if people were like where's the guy doll and they were like oh crap we have to we have to um make a guy doll so let's just throw it together in aladdin and, and and call it a day so i don't know it's just weird anyway 
So like I said earlier, he does have inset eyes like the other, like the other dolls. Um, his hair is gelled, so gelled. Uh, it's almost it's almost like dandruffy, which is kind of weird, but you know whatever. I don't I don't mind I don't mind this haircut. It's fine. I actually don't mind uh, male dolls with longish hair. Um, so he's wearing this shirt with uh, is it Abu? Is that the name of the monkey? Abu? Maybe. You can you can you can uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but uh, he's wearing this white shirt. And then he has, he's wearing this bracelet. Um, and then this other bracelet, which is like a snake. It's got like a snake theme to it. And then he's wearing these like cargo pant things with little pockets on the sides. Uh, they actually do open up. Oh, they're actual, they're actual pockets. So that's cool. Functioning pockets on the side there. Uh, and then he's wearing these like canvasy shoes that are like tan in the front and then red in the back. Also, he feels like hefty. Like, I don't, I, I guess I wasn't, wasn't expecting him to feel so hefty. I'm not sure why, but yeah, he's, 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 a, he's a hefty boy. So as far as articulation goes, he can go left to right, kind of up and down, uh, outwards. He has a bend at the elbow. He can bend at the wrist. His hands are huge. I just realized how big his hands are. <laughs> they are so big. Look how big his hands are. They're so big. Um, nothing at the waist. He does have a, there is some kind of movement here. And then he can bend at the knee. And then I will say that his ankle uh, joints are really loose, like super loose. This, this one more than the other one, but I'm kind of bummed at how loose this is, but what are you gonna do? Um, yeah, so overall, I think he's, I think he's cute. It's, it's a cute, it's a cute doll. I'm always, I'm always into getting more uh, different guy dolls that aren't uh, Barbie. So I'm happy to add this to my collection. Uh, the outfit is like fine. It's not, it's, it's kind of like a basic boring outfit, but let me get him, let me, let me get him? No. Let me put on his other shirt and I will be right back. Okay. so. So here he is with all of his uh, other accessories on. So I just threw his shirt over top of his t-shirt. Uh, this is actually a crossbody. I thought it was a fanny pack, but whatever, I'm old. Um, and then his hat does not really stay on his head because his hair just like pushes it right off. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. Uh, but yeah, so. This is his out other outfit. So what I'm gonna do now is try the Beast Fashion Pack on him and see what those clothes look like on him. I'll be right back. So in case you're curious, this is what he looks like uh, fully unclothed. Um, I, uh, he is wearing underwear, which I would expect. Uh, the thing I didn't expect is that he actually has butt cheeks, which uh, is really funny. All right, I got all the accessories out of the Beast fashion pack, so I'll just show them to you real quickly. So these are the shoes. They're like fur-lined um, black shoes. Super cute. Some pretty basic sunglasses. This hoodie is, is pretty awesome. I'm, I'm really looking forward to putting this on him. He also comes with this uh, graffitied t-shirt that says Beast all over it. And then he's like ripped up jeans, which is really cute. And probably my favorite piece <laughs> is this bag. Uh, it's like this fur lined, like I, I'm assuming this is another like crossbody bag, but then it, so, so, so the, the, the strap is like fur lined and then like there's like this like huge chunk of fur like just like hanging off of it and it's supposed to be like a bag uh but yeah that's this is really cool i really love this 
All right, so let me get him dressed in this beast outfit and I will be right back. Okay, are you ready? Uh, I am, I'm definitely keeping him in this outfit. Um, this outfit looks so much better than the one he comes with. So uh, I would definitely recommend picking up this one instead of the one that he comes with. So here he is, all dressed up in the beast, beast wear. Uh, it's, this is super cute. And the, the quality is like really good. I'm really, I'm really happy with the quality of all the pieces. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just awesome. Uh, I still can't get over how big his hands are. So I, won't, I will not stop talking about how big his hands are. Um, but yeah, this is, he's definitely staying uh, in this outfit. Uh, he's not going back to the other outfit. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna be a cool beast from now on. So yeah, I would definitely recommend picking up the Aladdin doll. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like they kind of missed on the outfit because it is kind of plain and boring. Uh, I would definitely go for the beast outfit. I know there's another one and I don't remember what the villain's name is in um, uh, the Tiana movie. Uh, yeah, I'll put it, I'll put it right here. <laughs> uh, but anyway, th there's a fashion pack based on him as well, but I kind of went, went towards the beast cause I, I kind of like this like casual, very like everyday look kind of style. Um, but yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, worth the money. The fashion pack is also worth it. So yeah, I would pick it up. So thank you so much for bearing with me. I know my, my posting schedule has kind of been all, all over the place recently, but I'm trying to keep up with posting. And I know uh, I haven't been live streaming the past two or three weeks. So I definitely want to get it back into that. It's just hard for me to uh, talk for long periods of time. So without like hacking up a lung, uh, but I will get back. We will get back to that because I do miss talking to you guys. And um, yeah, so uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel and um, I will catch you next time.